Hi everyone, welcome to Module 4. My name is Ben Zamzo and this is a guest lecture to introduce the week. This module is called Professional Codes. We're next going to be considering professional codes and normative principles that guide conduct in particular fields. So this time we're interested in studying the relationship between normative principles that we can pull from normative ethics and the development and codification of professional oaths, regulations, rules, mission statements, and guiding principles found out there in society. So first we'll want to describe and define what we mean by oaths, by professional codes and legal statutes, and then investigate the relationships between them. We'll think about some of the history behind the origins of professional oaths and the guiding normative principles for certain fields. We'll think about how ethical ideals can transition from prescriptive to proscriptive language, going from individual virtuous actions, if practiced, to actionable offenses, if violated, uh, once translated into a legal framework. So we want to think about the ethical and legal implications and, uh, and parameters within oaths, codes, and statutes. And we want to identify the normative ethical principles that are contained or referenced within each document, either explicitly or implicitly. We're going to devote particular focus to the Hippocratic Oath, and we'll analyze an episode from House MD, The Tyrant, uh, which we'll use as a case study to illustrate the principles from the module. Now, this is really interesting because codes can certainly guide and constrain our behavior, and the guiding power of professional codes comes from a place of authority, moral authority, and ordinary authority. So therefore, it's worthwhile to reflect on the justification of moral arguments drawn from codes, and to recognize that codes can be misused or abused, uh, their authority can be used to defend or support some practices without there actually being a compelling moral or legal justification. Okay, so where I'd recommend you start is quickly read through the discussion board prompt so it's in the back of your mind when you're completing the module. And be sure to complete all the readings and required learning activities. And keep notes. Take notes so that you have the page numbers of specific passages you might want to refer back to, as this will serve you really well in the course. Now to complete Module 4, you'll need to complete the Module 4 discussion as well as quiz number 2.